Hello, good day. Welcome back to Go on the Run. And in this video, I want to talk about auth collections. So when would you need not an authentication collection? So that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's jump in. Now, we already have a collection here that's users, and that's provided by PocketBase when you install it. But we have two different sets of users, right? We have the admins, which are the one who administrate the application. They have all the permissions. They can see all the collections once they authenticate. However, we have users who we can then use to link to records. When you create records, you don't get to link them to admins. You get to link them to users. And these are your authenticated users. And so when we created a cart, for example, we said, oh, our user is linked to our cart, sorry, is owned by a user. And we show that by having it have a reference to a user. So when might we want another collection that is similar to the user collection, basically a collection that allows you to authenticate against it? Because if you recall, let's say I'm on the carts collection and I go to my API view here, you can see that I have list, view, create, update, delete, real time. I can't authenticate against this collection. However, that's not the case when I go to the user's collection. If I go to API view, you can see I have all these other operations here that have to do with, you know, resetting password, authenticating, and all this other good stuff. So let's say in my application, I have a different set of authenticated users. It's not the general users. Maybe it's managers. So I might have an auth collection called managers, and then I can add fields that are appropriate for the managers. So here, notice for my auth collection, what I'm given. I'm given username, email, email visibility, verify. So I'm given all the IDs that are in users already. So the only reason for me to add any new field is if these are not sufficient and I want to add something else. If you think about it, users and managers are two different types of role anyway. But maybe for my managers, there are some other things that I want to use to differentiate between managers. And so I can possibly have some more fields. So I'm not going to invent something right now. So I'm just going to say, like, let's just call this managers. And then we have that collection. And of course, it, we can do all the same thing like we do before. And so you can see if I go to API view, I have all those same operations, including authenticating as a manager. And now that I authenticate as a manager, again, assuming I create a record, let's say create a record here called, and there goes my record. Notice how as a manager, I have this email address, verl at example.com. As a matter of fact, I can create in my users collection, the same exam, exact email ID. And now here you go. So because these collections are different, it's okay. So I, as a user, when I go to log in, depending on which part of the application I'm logging in, the front end application will be one providing three different login methods, one for users, one for managers, and one for admin, for example. And of course, if I create records, I can then say, should it have a reference to manager and which manager? The exact same thing. Um, there's nothing stopping me from updating these collections to say they should also have a feel to a manager. I mean, that's going to be populated, of course, by whichever manager is logging in or modify that record or is responsible for it or something like that. So I just wanted to show you that you can create as many um, basic collection as you like, as many view collection as you like, and you know, use our art collections to manage authentication as you like, depend on the roles that you want to have in your application. So, okay, that hopefully maybe shed some light and close out the topic on how to create collections. So that's it for this video. If you've made it to this point um, and you're not a subscriber, Please consider subscribing. Um, assume, I assume that you stuck around this long because you you like the content, you found it um, informative at least. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your time and support. I appreciate it and your patience. Mikhail, thank you for being a Patreon subscriber. If you would like to support the channel, 
here are some ways in which you can do that. Otherwise, take care and see you in the next video. Bye.